All right, welcome back. Um, this is the third video on gliders. It'll probably be the last one. Uh, the first video focused on the user interface and kind of how to maneuver through the buttons and getting comfortable with that. The second video focused more on utilizing the help section and kind of walking through that and how to do that. And this video, I'm gonna focus more on actually building the glider. Now, I'm not gonna build the best glider that I can because then you're gonna copy it and then there'll be no point for you, um, you know, because you gotta struggle in order to sort of understand stuff sometimes. So um, I'm gonna walk you through kind of like your how your mindset should be when you're when you're building every um, every one of these modules. This is kind of how you should be thinking. Okay, so. Um, Let's go ahead and just start. We'll click on engineering and then we'll kind of get going and I'll show you how um, you should be thinking as we go through this, all right? All right, so one of the coolest features about uh, the gliders uh, module is it has this uh, optimization piece down here. And the cool thing about this, uh, I've mentioned before, is these sliders, these uh, triangles, they, you're gonna wanna get them to slide all the way to the right. Okay, so each time you manipulate um, either the fuselage, the wing, or any of these, these uh, components over here, it's gonna have an effect on your optimization. I wish that Whitebox um, did this for all of their modules and projects, but they don't. This is the only one it's in. Um, so as we go through the other ones, I'll kind of give you tips on that. But for the gliders, this is super helpful. So. Um, we're gonna pretty much leave this up most of the time because you get real real results right away. All right, um, now, if you forgot, let's say, how you want your, how do you get your lift up? If you forgot how, how an, a glider or a plane can generate lift, then you can go back into the research and look up where lift is, right? And then you can read a little bit about how lift is generated okay and lift efficiency okay and always go and look for these engineer tips okay basically what this is saying is okay <clears throat> even though you make your 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 wing wider and bigger that's gonna have an effect on mass but the largest LER will even do better than something with a really, uh, like a glider that is really uh, light and doesn't have very much mass. So the, one of the most important things is the LER in order to in increase uh, lift, okay? So I need to remember that when I'm engineering, I wanna have a pretty big wing, all right? I need to have an, a high LER. Even though that's gonna have an effect on my weight, um, we, can, we can adjust some other things in order to balance that out, okay? So one of the, I guess one of the first things, like if you're worried about, like you have to pick one of these and kind of just focus on that for, for a little bit until you bring the, the triangle up. So I'm just gonna start with wing, all right? So throw the eyeball up and throw the wrench up. Remember, I want my wing to be sort of large. So I should see a change in the lift um, if I do this. Okay, and again, my weight's going down. Why? Because I'm adding mass. So remember, I can reduce, that's an engineering trade-off, right? I fix one thing and then another part gets messed up. So then if we sand, if we remove material, it's too heavy, we should see that weight then go back up. And we do, <clears throat> right? So there's always ways to fix um, engineering trade-offs like that, right? So. Um, Let's try, and again, I'm not building this super nice glider. You know, I was going to kind of just build one and have you watch me do it, but then I realized that you're gonna get all my tips and, and then just build that same one. So um, I'm just gonna walk through some of the things that can increase these, and I'm not gonna increase them all the way, okay? So um, let's, let's worry about um, drag, reducing drag. How do we reduce drag? Let's go to research. There's drag. Okay, so here we are on drag and we can look for uh, these engineering tips, okay? Smooth surfaces will yield lower skin friction, so it's a good idea to sand your wing, tail, and fin 
sanding will reduce the weight all right so we got two things that's we're going to reduce drag which is good and we're going to reduce weight by sanding all of our pieces okay so when we go back to engineering we want to make sure we sand everything okay another engineering tip down here a technique used to reduce drag is to taper around the edges of the wing tip okay so let's go back to engineering we have wing here so let's round out our edges and see what happens well that's this one right here right so we have our, our uh, straight shape and our curved shape See if that makes a difference. Okay, our whole thing changed, so we need to, I would, you know, again, bring this, uh, we wanna have a large planter area here. Okay, good lift, really good lift. Uh, we gotta, I know we gotta bring these in because it's out of spec if it's not. And then it, it mentioned also um, sanding all of our pieces. So let's just go to horizontal stabilizer. Bring that guy up and sanding level heavy apply. Okay, so already we're getting a pretty good uh, glider here. I'm gonna kind of stop maybe giving too many tips. Let's let's move on to roll. I remember reading about roll when we were talking about dihedrals. Okay, so or there's roll right here and. There was this cool thing down here okay you probably didn't do it because it didn't require you to do it in the notes but hopefully you did it's super important right so um so we're gonna use this so incremental flight time so one two three four and then the angle at which you're setting your either polyhedral or dihedral or whatever it is that you want to use um let's just look at the effect of the angle right so we're gonna hit next Okay, so if you did a almost um, 10 degree angle, your incremental flight time is gonna be 1.5-ish. Okay, so we'll go next. So if you raised your angle to 15, you're looking at three seconds of flight time or incremental flight time. Okay, so if you raise it up to, I don't know, what is that, 22 or something, um, that's gonna start bringing you down. And we're going to continue going down the higher the angle okay so we look at this and we need to figure out what angle should we set our um, dihedrals okay probably around 15 I mean I'll keep going with it it looks like it's just continuing to drop okay so without enough dihedral an aircraft cannot be inherently stable however too much dihedral will make the aircraft so stable that it resists intentional and necessary rolling motion okay so um we're looking at about 15 degrees when you go back in your engineering okay and that's gonna be uh that's gonna have to do with your wing and then you can change your type of dihedral and then you can change the the degree okay and i'm not gonna do that you can do it all right yaw i remember reading about yaw at some point okay um, and since I've kind of given you enough tips on, on your mindset and how you should be thinking, then you can go back into this area and figure out what it is you might need to change. Okay. I don't want again, I don't want to give too much away. So, um, your center of gravity is going to be important. Now, when you start messing with some of these things, remember, you're going to have one thing slide one way and the other slide the other. So you're going to kind of have to go back and forth until you find that happy medium. I, I promise you you can pretty much get all of these uh, triangles all the way to the right, okay? So, I hope this video kind of helps. Um, it's Keep this optimization up, it's super important. I, again, I wish it was in all of them, uh, but it's not, okay? Remember to constantly check outputs, making sure that you're still in spec, okay? So the plane that we have right now is too heavy, but that's fine, there's some other things that you can do to reduce the, um, reduce the mass okay so um, back to re our engineering and <clears throat> you know you can mess with your fuselage by the way you can do this taper boom oh you can't even see it sorry okay um, you can taper the boom remember to hit apply okay let's see what that does I don't really do anything I feel like I can 
computer's messing up. Taper the nose. Oh, that's that's what I was looking for. Um, taper body. Okay, so that has an effect a little bit on y'all. So you're gonna have to go through, and uh, there is importance to having this tapering, and you're gonna need to read about that. Um, it, there, there is an engineering tip in here, and I'm not gonna tell you where, um, but it's in there, and it talks about um, why it's important to have this taper, okay? So again, that's your mindset. I don't wanna give too much away, uh, but those are some tips to kinda help you get going and focusing a little bit more on these areas over here, all right? So uh, that's gonna be it for the gliders videos, and again, obviously, if you need help, raise your hand, I'll come over and I'll help you the best I can, but uh, these videos should help you kinda get a lot more comfortable, all right? See you later.